What's up guys, American Abroad here bringing you another video talking today about the best motovlogging setup for your helmet. Let's go. Okay, so as you can see here, motovlogging takes a few accessories. So here's some of the accessories that you're actually gonna need. Um, depending on where you put the camera, you are gonna need for mounting on your helmet some kind of motorcycle helmet mount. This one's been great. If you don't wanna add any adhesives, you can use the 3M tape. I do have another motorcycle mount coming from chinmounts.com. They make custom chin mounts for any helmet out there basically and it's all custom it fits perfect I needed it for my helmet because as you can see um, I've got a little bit of a different helmet right here you know I've got this this different kind of face so I need something that fits perfectly right down there in the in the center so a couple of accessories that you are gonna need. You're gonna need some kind of recording device. Um, I go with GoPro, this is a GoPro 7 Silver. Um, and then I went ahead and made the upgrade to the GoPro 10. And this is just a waterproof case for when I do underwater filming as well. Uh, and then it also protects it on the road if it does fall off. Although for the setup that I have now, it doesn't work. So I'll show you how that mounts up. So yeah, cheap little $12 mount really easy that's the box it comes in so check that out on Amazon they have them in the US they have them in Europe so really really easy to buy one of these and you don't have to worry about if you want to switch helmets or take it on and off you don't have to worry about that adhesive tape sticking on there so I'm gonna stick this on the helmet and show you guys how it looks mounted up So there you go, it's mounted up now on the front of the helmet. A Little bit crude there. Um, it's not the best fitting mount, but it is something you can take on and off. There's a bit of space on there that's not my favorite, but hey, it works for what it is. It's a $12 mount, can't complain. Okay, so this is an absolute game changer. It's the media mod for the GoPro. They have them for the eight black, the nine, and the 10. And I believe the nine and the 10 one works for both. I hope so, because that's what I ordered. <laughs> actually, this is what it looks like. It's just a little housing that comes out. It actually has a directional mic that comes with it. I think a lot of people are using this when they're doing uh, like YouTube channels and stuff like that. We are gonna modify this and make it for a moto vlogging mount. We don't need this, so off it comes. So let's take our Hero 10 Black, which I'm loving this camera. And basically what you have to do is you have to take the door off the side of this so that it works with the media mod. So it's made to just come right off. So you just snap the door off like that, super easy. Now you've just got the exposed part of the GoPro and that little hole right there for the insert. Closer right up, boom. Media mod thrown in there. So now you've got a media modified GoPro camera ready to go. And the thing why you need this is because there is actually no auxiliary port for a mic for any other GoPro, which is crazy. I can't believe GoPro hasn't come out with a auxiliary port yet, but whatever. The media mod actually comes with a couple of these back in the back. They're not weatherproof, but they kind of have, like you can tell when they kind of have a little seal on them. So it's, they've tried to weatherproof it a little bit. So. I've heard some people ride these in a little bit of light mist, but I wouldn't ride, recommend riding it in heavy rain. And so the main reason I got this is for the auxiliary port. This is very important. Know this before you buy a lavalier mic for your helmet, because if you want to do moto vlogging, of course you want to be able to talk. And it's so much easier just to go ahead and put it on the camera as opposed to trying to record it on another device or record it afterwards. It just really puts people in the moment when you're riding. And also, I kind of love that wind noise and a little bit of the noise around. It kind of puts you in the in the feels, right, of the of the motorcycle ride. Otherwise, you're just kind of recording audio over and it doesn't bring people into the video as well. So this is just a cheapo mic that I bought online. I'm actually gonna upgrade this, but for now, this is gonna work. You wanna make sure that you get something with one of these um, little puffs on the end. Basically what it does is it muffs out a lot of the wind noise. Uh, the one I'm using on my camera is massive as well. So make sure you get one of these. It'll still be easy to conceal, don't worry. And then something that's really, really important about the mic. So if you are buying one of these, um, I recommend, especially for the back of the GoPro, a 90 degree mount there, a 90 degree angled um, plug there, because then it just fits really nice behind there. If you try and do just the straight one, it can kind of bunch up and bend this, and I, I just don't like how that looks. Also, something that's really important, a lot of lavalier mics are coming with TRRS, which is basically the three um, rings that you see there. You see the one, two, three rings? Um, and basically what you need for it to work with the GoPro is the TRS, which is the difference here, which has only got two rings. 
I'm going to see if I can focus that in for you guys. So it's only the two rings. That's what you need to make it work on the GoPro. So make sure that you have something that is going to have those two rings on there. You need the TRS input. So I basically bought this and it went ahead and it came with um, the 90 degree angle, which is what I wanted. And as well, it had the connection from the TRRS into the TRS, which is what I need. So now we're just going to plug that into the back of our media mod here. Okay, so this is what it looks like all thrown together. You've got the GoPro sitting on the front of the helmet, and now I'm just gonna run the cabling through the cheek pads. Um, I'm just doing it now, just initially, because uh, probably it's easier to take the GoPro off and, and run all these cabling before, but I just kinda wanted to see how much cable I needed before I run it up underneath the helmet, just so that I'm not running it too tight or too loose. Okay, so one thing I'm not crazy about this helmet mount, um, and you guys may see it as well, is it does push down on my flap here, which actually blocks out a lot of the wind noise. So of course, that is gonna be a factor coming into this mic. I don't know if you can see it sitting down in there. I'll try and get it up in there. You can see my mic just sitting right here. And that little lavalier mic is gonna pick up a lot of that wind noise. So because this is, you know, it picks it up anyways, and then this, kind of pulling this down is, is making it worse. So why did I decide to go with the media mod uh, as opposed to a different system? Uh, basically, I wanted to be able to do an auxiliary mic. I just think it's so much cleaner than the other alternative. For instance, if you have an older camera, you don't even, you don't even have the ability to go with a media mod. Um, the only other option that you have to record audio while you're moto vlogging is to basically take this little door off and then basically what you have to do is you have to get a little converter that goes into here and basically attaches to the side of your helmet and it's a whole nother deal. Uh, Teapot One actually, who has a great channel, love his channel, uh, basically goes through and, and shows you because that's how he's got his setup is just taking this door off and hooking into there. That actually leaves your GoPro in a very vulnerable state though. So then it's not waterproof. And, but he does have a solution for that. He just pops a little silicone thing, the things that you put in your ears to go swimming. Um, he just puts one of those and molds it over this and it seems to waterproof it fine. He hasn't had any problems, but you know, it, it, it's just one more thing you've got to have on the front of your helmet because you do have to then 3M it to the side of your helmet as well, it takes up more space and it's more weight as well. If you're going on a long ride, you definitely don't want extra weight. Extra weight is just going to be something that is going to tire you out a lot quicker. So this is a much simpler modification in my opinion. So there we go. We've got our GoPro mounted to our helmet and ready to record some awesome footage and be able to record some audio and talk to your audience while you're riding. Something I do like to do as well is have a secondary camera facing me so that I can get some different footage because whenever you are recording audio and recording video, you wanna make sure that you're giving your audience different viewpoints, different vantage points to be able to view things. Otherwise they might get bored with your video and maybe mount it to the handlebars. I do have a handlebar mount the other end of this is actually connected to my handlebars and then I just go on and I screw this on. It's got a couple of pivoting heads on there. Also a very inexpensive mount. I think this was 17 euros or 20 bucks on Amazon. And then you can just, as long as you have some kind of mounting mechanism, in this case, I choose a case in case it falls off. And then it gives you that second vantage point. So you do have different mounting options. When I say 3M, this is what I'm talking about. These little 3M stickers. Your GoPro comes with a couple of these, but it comes with like some straight ones and some curved ones. This happens to be the curved one. And basically when you put it on the side of your helmet, there's really not many spaces. Like that is not fully touching. That's, that, that actually is kind of good right there on the side of my helmet. It's, it's kind of fully adhesed, but then you've got to get this, look at, look at where it would be. Okay. This is where the camera is on the chin. That's why I choose mount on the chin. And then over here on the left, you would have to get some kind of crane like action going on to bring your GoPro around to the front of your helmet. The reason I don't like the sound side mount view is because then people don't actually see what you see and sometimes you get your helmet in the shot. Uh, you'd have to get this thing kind of sticking out over here. Honestly, I think it looks ridiculous with people going down the road having that on the side of their helmet. I just think it looks stupid. I can't do it, man. So I, I opted for the chin mount. I think it's so much cleaner. 
So if you feel like I left something out that you'd really like to know, throw a comment down below and I will try to respond to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, really love you guys supporting the channel. So if you guys found some value in this, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe for some new videos coming out. I've actually got a big trip planned this weekend. Okay, so I know I told you I was going on a long trip. We got back last night. It was from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. And man, look at my helmet. I mean, I feel like we picked up every single bug in Portugal and I have cleaned this like several times times while we're on the trip. It was crazy. 400 miles or around 700 kilometers that we did yesterday and it was amazing. The tiger held up great. So stick around. I've got that video coming out soon. Um, it's going to come out in a couple of days, I think. Let's see how I can do on the editing. But if it doesn't come out this week, it'll come out the following week. So stay tuned. Posting every uh, Tuesday and Friday. So if you guys stick around, you'll get to see some more videos. So stick around for that and we'll catch you guys on the flip side, ride safe.